recipe. So just, uh, sorry my voice sounds kind of like iffy and stuffy today, but I'm really excited. So I am making a new butter slime with Stoflo because, I mean, I've been using Borax ever since I've been making slime. I'm going to be using Stoflo, a new activator, and I'm really excited to see how it works. So I decided to pick it up. Apparently it is a lot better than Borax. So we're going to be using it and trying it out. And I'm going to be showing you my favorite recipe to make butter slime with <gasps> Daiso Clay. You can order this off Amazon. This color is just white. But I'm going to be coloring it pink. So make sure that you follow me on Instagram and let's just get straight on with the butter slime tutorial. Okay, so for this butter slime, you're going to be needing some Elmer's glue. My container has like this much glue left, so let's hope I have enough. Um, some cornstarch, some stock low, shaving cream, some lotion, and then optional a scent. I'm using sugar cookie and food coloring. Mine is a really pretty pink. And then also optional is this glitter, so I'm really excited to use this. And then your Daiso clay and a spoon. Okay, so the first step is to pour some glue into your bowl. I feel like I haven't made slime in a really long time. Okay, next I'm gonna add my cornstarch. So, I'm just gonna add a little bit. I don't want too much, but I want this slime to be nice, nice and thick. I think that's good. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of shaving cream. Not too, uh, not too much. So now my food color, all of my slimes have this color. Um, I'm also gonna add my scent after this. So I guess I just add my glitter now. What color should I do? So if this is gonna be pink, I think I'm gonna do the pinkest one and the white. Okay, there we go. This looks really cool. So now I'm just gonna mix all of that together. I love just getting to like see everything mix. And the pink dyes in here is gonna look so cool. This is so, so pretty, so now I'm going to activate. So I've got my soft flow right here. You can get this at any store like H-E-B or Kroger. So let's just do this thing. My mixture looks really, really pretty. I really like the glitter. Oh, I'm so excited. I've used this a few times because my friend has this to make her slime, so. I mean, so far it's doing the job, so that's good. The thing with borax that I never liked was that it gets really stringy while you're trying to activate. It all starts to separate and it gets really unstretchy so you have to add a bunch of lotion to it. As soon as I started activating it's already like super stretchy but I picked it up way too early. I need an activator. This feels so good. It's so soft and fluffy. There we go. Coming together. Okay, okay. This is already, right off the bat, super, super stretchy, which is impressive because I have to usually have to add like a whole bunch of lotion, and I've already said that, but this is really nice. So I'm actually not gonna add any lotion just yet because, I mean, it's kind of a waste of lotion when you don't need it. I'm so excited to add my clay, but I did make this kind of big, so I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna separate this because I really like the texture of this slime, even though I haven't added any clay yet, <laughs> and make two slimes, have this one and then do one with the actual Daiso clay. This is my slime before I've added in the clay. So it's really fluffy, it's really clicky. So I'm gonna take half of it and I'm gonna keep half of it so I don't add clay to this huge slime because this is really nice. So I'm gonna keep some of this and then this one, this side, we're gonna be adding the Daiso. Here is my Daiso clay. Like I said, you can order this off of Amazon. I don't know where else it, you can buy it. <gasps> I've only had Daiso like twice and it's always made such good slimes. I'm excited. It's like a really soft clay. <gasps> it's on. <laughs> There's no going back. Ready for this? I love all those clay mixing videos. I have to hold it down with my hand because I don't want the glass that I'm playing with it on to like, ooh. It's so far mixing really like fast and it feels super good. It's actually getting kind of sticky. So I think I'm gonna have to add some more Stoflo. I feel it, it's getting super buttery. I'm really impressed because I thought that 
like adding half of it might turn it hard, but it's still like super stretchy. A while ago, and I did Daiso, and I added it to my slime, and it was my first time ever using it, and it got like super hard, like, it, like I couldn't stretch the slime, it was so hard. So I don't know what happened, so I'm scared that was gonna happen to this slime if I added too much, but it didn't. This feels so good. My slime is pulling together so well. Look how spreadable it is. It could go on and on and on. So here is my slime. It's honestly actually really good. It feels like a professional slime maker made it. <laughs> so now I'm gonna sit my slime sugar cookie. I've used this one like so much. I'm almost out of this scent. But I love slimes to be scented. So here we go. What I like about the Stoffel is that it's not scented at all, so that you can set your slime whatever you want. Y'all, this slime is so good. It's scented and it's beautiful, and I'm just so obsessed. It's so spreadable, oh my gosh. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this. Slime is so good and it's really, really stretchy. Y'all should definitely get Stoflo if you guys are gonna start making slime. Uh, also, a little reminder, I just wanna remind y'all that my meet and greet is this Sunday. Here's all the information. It's gonna be so fun and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!